Hello everybody, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, I am Christina. I'm a BIM specialist focusing on helping businesses with Revit training and integrating optimized BIM workflows that help them get the best of the software fast. However, today I'm not going to talk to you about Revit. Actually, I'm going to talk to you about a new emerging, completely open source BIM software called Blender BIM. As a matter of fact, Blender BIM is not a standalone software. Actually, it's an add-in built on the Blender platform that allows you to create IFC models. How did Blender BIM came to my attention? Well, to begin with, I am a Kobe Metaverse architect. And secondly, you probably have already heard about the IFC.js movement. Well, recently I started building my first open BIM application. So as you can see, this software becomes more and more intertwined with my personal work. And I believe it has a lot of potential in the future for the business at large. Whenever I start with uh, learning a new software, I always start by learning to navigate through it. So today we're going to start with some basic to advanced features for navigation in Blender and Blender BIM. So let's move on to the laptop. So let's open up Blender. If you've installed Blender BIM correctly, you should already have the BIM tab active. As you can see, there are multiple tabs, but today we are only going to focus on this one. The first thing we usually want to be able to do in a 3D model is change the perspective. And this can be easily achieved by just holding down on the middle mouse button and move around the cursor. Another important tool to master is pan. And to do that in Blender, you should hold the shift and once again, the middle mouse button. Another the easy, easy way to navigate and change the perspective is the gizmo here. And if you click on any of the axes, you'll be able to get the respective view. However, it's much more important to master some hotkeys today. And if you are careful to see that each has a hotkey attached to it, you can just go straight for the numpad to see the model from above by hitting seven, three to see the model from the front, one from the side, and for each opposite side, you just have to add control. Another cool way to navigate the view for me personally would be also holding the out and the middle mouse button and just flipping our perspective. You've probably noticed that here we have a camera and if you hit the zero from your numpad, you'll be able to look at your model from the camera's perspective. It's time to load our IFC model. And to do so, go here to the right and hit load project. Navigate to the project. And now what we all have to do is just wait. When you have a model with multiple objects, it is really important to be able to zoom in on an object and isolate it. To select an object, you just need to click on it with your left mouse key in my case. And to zoom in on it, hit the comma from the numpad. Time to isolate our object. 
hit shift H from the keyboard and to return the view to its normal state, just go for out H. While moving around the model, sometimes you will just want to frame everything. And to do so, you will just need to hit Shift C from the keyboard. To explore, you can just go ahead and click on View. And navigation and align will give you a little bit more options to explore. This is pretty much everything for today. And I hope this brought you one step closer to feeling a little bit more comfortable with Blender. So you made it till the end of this video. And if you find these tips helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button.